The social networking site we reviewed was Google+. The site allows users to connect with others and publish their thoughts, opinions, photos, videos, etc. Some features are similar to Facebook. For instance, the layout of the site looks like Facebook, with your news feed dominating the home page and sidebars that let you navigate through different groups. There is also a chat option where you can communicate live with friends, as well as a video chat option that is called a Hangout. You also have an icon that tells you if you have any notifications, like Facebook. Google Plus also is similar to Twitter because you have an option of following different accounts. The main advantage that Google Plus has over other social networking sites is that you have the option of organizing other Google Plus accounts into circles. For instance, a new user has default circles like family, friends, and acquaintances. However, the user can create his or her own circles that specify professional or academic groups. When posting content, you can decide what circles are able to view your post. This adds an element of privacy that is lacking in Facebook as well as an element of selectivity that Twitter does not offer. You can add or delete circles whenever you want. For each circle, you also have the option of controlling how much content from that circle shows up on your main page. For example, if you really like the Food Network, you can choose to have everything that account publishes show up on your main page. If you are only somewhat interested in Glamour Magazine, you can choose to have fewer posts show up on your main page. The site can be considered a social networking site because you can connect with other people like friends, family, colleagues, teammates, and others. Google Plus is an interactive and engaging site where users can both create and consume information. The circles literally, show you, literally allow you to create many networks of your choosing, which allow for seamless communication between users. We are new user, users of Google Plus and we found it very easy to use. There was an easy setup that gave us step-by-step -step instructions for setting up a profile. One really nice aspect of Google Plus is that it is interconnected with all of the other facets of Google. For example, if you already have a Gmail account, you can easily set up a Google Plus account because it uses all of the same information. You don't have to worry about remembering a bunch of different passwords because it is all under one Google account. There is a toolbar displayed across the top of the page where you can access Google Docs, Gmail, Google Plus, Google Calendar, and more. Overall, we really like all aspects of Google Plus and we think that with more users, it could become a very prominent social networking site. My name is Lisa Prowess. The following material was written by me alone and represents my personal opinions of this topic. My name is Hannah Redfield. The following material was written by me alone and represents my own personal opinions on this topic. My name is Matthew Fernandez. The following material was written by me alone and represents my personal opinions on this topic.